Welcome to Gray Overload. I'm Anthony and today I'm going to do a review of the Asus Crosshair 6 Hero motherboard that's part of the Republic Gamer series. So let's dive in. I purchased the Asus Crosshair 6 Hero motherboard for my daily driver that you see behind me. And I'm using the AMD Ryzen 1800X and the Trident Z 32 gigs of their memory in two sticks. So that's what can be overclocked to 3200. Right now it's only at 2666, but I'm really, really, really hoping that AMD um, or ASUS pushes out the AMD generic encapsulated software architecture, AGESA, if anyone ever mentions that to you. Um, but I'm really hoping that they push that out here over the next week or so, so I can try to get my memory overclocked better. And I will update you as well when that happens. But I've only been using the latest updates on this, and I just want to preface that first. And I haven't actually used any of their software that comes with the motherboard as well inside Windows. So if you guys like that inside Windows stuff, let me know. Leave me a comment below, and hopefully that's going to help somebody else out. I like to go into the UEFI and test out everything there. That's just me. That's what I like to do. And so... Um, if you like that stuff, please leave a comment below because I think that'll be very helpful and it might even turn me on to being able to go in and be like, oh, this guy actually uses it for this. It might be something that I want to use it for that I haven't thought of before and make my workflow even better. So I want to thank you for leaving those comments below. But this motherboard, and this is the box of it, the motherboard instead of the computer, but this motherboard has been a great driver here the last month. I've been very, very impressed with it overall, and it's worked quite well. The, going into this, I the reason why I bought it was that I wanted the X370 chipset. I didn't want any video ports on the back rear panel, and I wanted Wi-Fi. And I know people are now going, oh, he wants Wi-Fi? I want Wi-Fi so my kids and wife don't trip over my cores that I'm running down the hall. Only reason why. Once we move into a bigger place, into a house and stuff, um, I'm wiring everything. So this was a temporary fix for me. I do wish that uh, this does come with an M.2 key on the rear panel. And I was really hoping that Asus would go through and release one. So Asus, if you see this video, go release it. It'd be great. I'll buy it. So with that, let's go through and let's scroll through this back um, with this uh, motherboard layout. And I really like the overall layout, the design of it. I think it was great. The Aurora sync and being able to have the RGB lights where they have it with the Republic of Gamers logo and Crosshair 6 on it. It was great. I like it. And I was impressed with it. Also having, as you look at this, having the ability to use AM3 and AM4 socket types um, for coolers has been great. I think it's not the pinout. You know, this is only an AM4 board, right? But you can put a backplate of an AM3 to hook up your AM3 socket cooler as well. Um, the reinforced sockets have been great. I think that they're going to operate well. I do plan on getting a 1080 Ti or a Vega card. If Vega ever comes out, I'll make that decision. If it doesn't come out here within any time soon, I guess I'm getting a 1080 Ti. Pretty simple, right? So I do, once I get the bigger card, I'll know how if it sags enough or not. Um, but so far it's been great with these reinforcement um, metal reinforced as well. I do like the Intel Gigabyte LAN as you see and also the you know they have the front panel the M2 they have USB 3.1 type A and type C on the back panel these are just things that I'm like I'm f it's future proofing me I, I wish there was maybe a few more type C's but that's me I, I already have some type I have a few items that are type C already and I just want to take advantage of that as well the, they also have a Republic Gamers, they call it the Republic Gamers Water Cooling Zone. And as you see in the bottom corner there, and I think that's great. I think as more and more people like to water cool, I'd like to actually go to full water cool system one of these days, but maybe not in this system, but I think this is a great feature, especially if you're looking for that. And the Aurora Sync, and I mentioned this already with the LED, but being able to have two strip headers that you can run around your case. Now I got that clear glass case you guys have seen in the 570 review as well that I did a few weeks back. And the one thing I wish that the Aurora would do, Aurora Sync would do, is actually plug into the Corsair 570 case controller for the fans. Now that's not the case. It's not ASUS' fault. I, you know, 
on that. Yeah, they just got to, of course, just got to work with Asus, I think, to be able to get that done. But that would be just a huge benefit to me. I really like the M.2 slot um, down where it's located at the bottom. I need to buy an M.2. If you guys have recommendations which uh, M.2 SSD to get, leave them in the comments below. I'll definitely take a look here because I do plan on buying one here in the next few months as well. I think that this board, though, overall has been a great workhorse for me. I really like it as we scroll through here, and as you've seen, the whole web page that Asus has that I will post in the link below. Take a look. I mean, the other motherboards I was considering, like I, uh, I think I said, was the uh, MSI one and the Gigabyte one, both their high ends. This one went out basically because of how many Asus motherboards I have bought in the past and that have not failed me. And the reputation of the support and how well they have taken care of me because I've bought many, 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 many Asus boards. I've bought many, many motherboards in general, but my Asus boards that I bought have been a great return on how well the quality is. So I want to thank you for watching today. I want to thank you for leaving your comments below and helping this channel grow. I appreciate it a lot, and thanks again. Thanks for watching Gray Overload. If you like this content, be sure to subscribe, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Gray Overload.